Hey there, we are back with the last video in the members chapter. In the next couple of minutes, we are going to set up broad based protection by using member groups. I'm Gabriel and I'll be your Umbraku Incon guy today. Let's get started. There are only four main steps that we need to follow to set up broad based protection. The very first thing that we need to do is to create a new member group. After that, we'll create new templates and partial views. The third step, it's all about creating a login, register, and forbidden page. And finally, we'll use public access option from the option list. Before we start the journey, please note that step two of this process requires us to know about templates and partial views. If you're not familiar with them, pause this video and head over to the chapter regarding templates here on Umbraco TV. There is a link in the description of this video. Awesome. Now let's start with the very first step, create new member group. As we saw in the previous video, we have already created a member group called Premium. That means we have already completed step one. Now let's move on on the second step, which is all about the templates and partial views. All right, I'm in the back office of my Umbraco 8 installation. And for this step, we need to create a couple of templates plus partial views. Let's head over to the settings section and I'll start to create the login and also the register template. Let's just go in the templates in here, open the templates, and then I will create um, all of the new templates underneath the layout. So it will inherit all of the settings. Let's just create the first one, login, save, and then the second one will be register. Here we go. Both of them are empty. And in order to follow the same layout as other pages of this site, let's just copy some of the HTML from our text page template. So we just grab this one from here, we go on the text page template, and then from here, we just copy this section, go to the login first time, and then we just need to remove whatever it's in here. So the beginning of the text page content section, and also the um, beginning of secondary navigation, we do not need this, I'll just remove it. So we have this section with the container. So we get a nice layout of our login and also register page. Let's save this one for the um, uh, login. And then I'll do, I'll just copy and add this one into the register template as well. Brilliant. Now, what we have to do is basically we'll need to create some uh, partial views, two for our login page and also one for the register. So let's start with the login page. Just next to the partial views, we can click on the, um, the free ellipses and then you can choose uh, new partial view from, uh, from snippet or you can just right click and then you get exactly the same uh, create and then you get exactly the same option. So in this situation, we're gonna use some snippets for our login and also for register. So we'll choose the second option from uh, from the list, new partial view from, from snippet. So let's um, check that one. And then we have the first one called login. Click on that one. And as you can see, we get some uh, HTML and some code inside of, uh, of our template that is already pre-made. This one would be called login we save. And then what this does, it basically will show us the login form on our website. The next thing that I, I would like to do is to create the new partial view. So I'll just go and create new partial view from snippet. And then I will choose the second option here for called login status. What this does it basically if you are logged in, it will show a message that you are logged in with that specific email address. And also you'll have an option to log out super useful at the moment when we want to see if uh, our content, it's uh, role based protected. So let's choose this one. And then we can uh, call it uh, login status. We save. And then the only code that we need from uh, from this page in our login, it's exactly this one from here. So what it does, it checks if you are logged in. And then if you are, it will just say your login status model, your email address that you have used, and also you will have the option to log out. So let's just copy this one from uh, from here into our login. And we'll just add it right here. Brilliant. So for this exercise, we will only use the login uh, partial view. This one, we have created this one just to have the code so we can paste it in our login. In this one, we also have the field. So all of the fields that are required in order to log in. Now the final partial view that we're going to use is called register. So let's create another one from snippet. And then we have one register member. So what this does, it will provide us the option to uh, register on the front end of uh, of the project on the website as a member. Call it a register. Brilliant. 
And now the step that we need to do is to allow the login and the register templates in the text page document type. So if we head over to the document types text page, then we have the templates. At this moment, we're only able to create text page as a template, the default template. So let's add the extra two, like the login and the register. Here we go. And login, brilliant. And as soon as this one is saved, we also need to fetch the partial views inside of our uh, inside of our templates. So let's do that. In the login on the templates in here, perfect. And then just inside of the container, we click on insert, and then we have the second option called partial view. We click on that one, and then we have login. Save it, perfect. And then we'll do exactly the same for uh, for register. So insert, and then we have partial view and register. Brilliant. So this is the way how you uh, set up the templates and also the partial views. In the next video, we'll have a look on how to create the content and also the forbidden page. Great. So now that we have the templates and partial views in place, it is time to create the content nodes. So let's start with the login one. I'll just head over to the content, right click on the welcome and just create the first one based on the text page and call it login. And before I save it and publish, please make sure that you go into the info content app and then change the template from text page to the login one. Save and publish. Brilliant. And then we'll create another one that will be used for register as a member on the front end of our website. So let's go with register. Oh, here we go. And then exactly the same workflow. We just go on the info content app and then instead of text, pay, uh, text page uh, template, we're going to use the register one. And the last page that I would like to set up, it's uh, the um, forbidden access. So we should show a message to those members that do not have access to those specific notes. So let's create another one, text page, and then let's say forbidden access. And then for the template, we're going to use exactly the same one, the text page, we want. We do not want to change it. But there is another setting that I, I want to add to this one. I want to hide it from the navigation. So I will just select this one, save and publish. Perfect. So now we have all of our content nodes in place. In the last step, we'll use the public access option from the option list. All right. So the last step involves making some of our content private. The process, it's actually quite straightforward and we can achieve the setup in a couple of clicks. So let's head over to our content nodes and decide which content should be protected. Let's say word from the CEO. Then we just right click on the content node and then we have this option called public access. If we click on it, then we get two options. The first one is basically specific members protection. For example, if you want to give access to a specific member or members, in this video, we want to give access to those who have the premium member group. So let's choose the second option, click next, and then we have three more options. First, we need to select the group. So if we click on add, then we have uh, select the member group and we, are, we have set up only one. So the premium one, it's available, submit. And then we need to select the pages where we have the login page and also the error page. So let's go with the login one first, add, and then in our content node, we have the login one. And then for the error, we're going to choose the one called forbidden access. Brilliant. Now let's save. Okay. And then save and publish this one. Perfect. As you can see, just here next to the icon, we have a, a red circle that shows us that this one is actually protected. And in order to provide the, a message for those who, for those members who do not have access, let's head over to the forbid, uh, forbidden access page. And let's just write something here saying that error you do not have access to this to this page. Perfect. Let's save and publish. And now let's head over to the front end of our website and let's see if all of the settings are working as expected. Perfect. So I'm in the front end of my project. And as we know, work from the CEO should be protected. So let's click on it. Here we go. So we get the login screen, the username and the password. Based on the members that we have in the back office, I know for sure member called Daniel doesn't have access to the word from the CEO. So let's try to log in umbraco.com and then provide the password. Here we go. Log in. And then we get the message that you are currently logged in as Daniel. But if now we try to go to the word from uh, from the CEO page, 
we get this uh, message that says you do not have access to this page. Brilliant. So everything works as expected at this point. But what about if we go back to the login page and then we log out and now we try to log in with someone who has actually the premium member group. So this is actually Gabriel. So let's uh, choose Gabriel as a username and then the password. Login. And you're currently logged in as Gabriel. Perfect. And then if you go to work from the CEO, we are able to see the text. This is the way how you can set up role-based protection in Umbraco 8. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, a big high five you rock.